In the primordial soup, a dance of light and chemistry birthed the first life. These were the pioneers, the single-celled autotrophs. They basked in the sun's embrace, weaving sunlight and simple chemicals into their very being. They thrived in a world devoid of competition, replicating with joyous simplicity. But as generations passed, a silent mutation arose. One autotroph, different from its brethren, learned to capture a sliver of sunlight more efficiently. This advantage, however small, allowed it to replicate faster, its lineage slowly blanketing the seascape. Soon, the single-celled world teemed with these sun gluttons, their dominance straining the once abundant resources. Scarcity spurred innovation. A new mutation emerged, a cell that could engulf smaller neighbors stealing their captured sunlight and vital components. This predator, a monstrous amoeba by comparison, thrived. The once peaceful dance of autotrophs turned into a desperate struggle for survival. Evolution, the blind sculptor, saw its chance. Cells began to clump together, forming loose confederations. Some sacrificed their individuality, specialising in capturing sunlight, while others focused on consuming prey. This rudimentary multicellularity offered protection and improved hunting efficiency. The first predators, clumsy conglomerates of cooperating cells, stalked the single-celled prey with newfound lethality. The dance of life became a ballet of death. The predators, in turn, became prey for even more complex multicellular organisms. Arms, then rudimentary jaws, emerged as appendages for hunting. Over millennia, complexity spiralled, driven by the insatiable hunger for survival and the ever-present sunlight, the fuel for this grand bloody ballot. From the simple autotrophs basking in the sun, life had morphed into a symphony of competition and cooperation. The once pristine seascape pulsed with the rhythm of predation, a testament to the relentless dance of evolution, where life fed upon life, building ever more intricate forms from the ashes of the fallen.